there's a girl, 20, who seems really, really into me, but she has thrown herself into a relationship with what seems to be manipulative guys. She was engaged with a 30-ish year old dude when we met in school. In spring, she got broken up with and moved in with a new guy the following summer after meeting the dude twice. Wait, wait, wait. Slower. Slower? Okay. Sorry, 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 team. She seems dependent on having a relationship, while I want to help her to become more independent. I worry she will fall for me as I try to support her and build her self-esteem. She is very nice and cute, and if she was more independent, I would like to date her. But I feel that, like there is a power dynamic there that I don't like. If she is into me and relationship dependent, entering into a relationship with her inherently plays on her dependency, I feel like. I don't want to get close and break her heart, nor do I want to be a saviour boyfriend. I'm 21, by the way, closeted AMAB NB. Could DM answer or have this? Oh, sorry. Like, all have this yeah. on AA. Uh, okay. a AMAB is assigned male at birth. <laughs> and NB is non binary. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um. Any advice as to what to do? Yes. Um. Again, like it's the sort of question you receive, and it just seems like by just ask them, like asking a question, they already have the answers as such. Like they know the answers, right? So that's the thing. Because my main criticism reading through it was like, oh, are you going to be a white knight? Are you going to be a savior? And at the end, they say, I don't want to be a savior. And I'm like, ooh, you're good. No, but <laughs> sure, but I don't know. I kind of, I'm, I'm a li I will say that tone that it kind of threw me off a little bit, just because it it, it is really implies that like. That, yeah, they have it all sorted out, really. It's just this troubled girl, and like, it's all. It's really, it's either me or they're fucked. Which is. Okay, there is something that, like, I mean, I'm sorry, again, like, thank you so much for the question and that. Yeah, but, um, and you are extremely, like, caring for the person, which is great. Um, but I don't know, it, 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 is, it is a little bit like, oh, it's, it's just, me, you know, it is, it's, it's, it's only me, or, or, or this girl will only fall to further trouble as such. Uh, also yeah, it like, does have a little bit of nice guy to it. Yeah, well, but yeah, and uh, like the thing is, that, like the pointing out that like oh she was in her twenties when she was married or moved in with the guy in the thirties and such. Like yeah, you know, like, what? Also yeah, uh, age yeah. Yes, yeah. honestly yeah, I don't really I don't really care about the age difference. Yeah, it's at true. All. Like the the judgment on her prior relationships, it seems like you're trying to paint and maybe justifiably as like concern over like she's falling into bad patterns, but also is a bit judgmental. Like, you yeah. can be in your 20s and date people in their 30s. Public service announcement. <laughs> yeah, and also codependency. Okay, yeah, so for sure, we have maybe also fallen in, I've been probably on the both sides of it as well. But when I know I am codependent as such, one thing I don't need is someone like telling me or like feeling like I am. No, their job is, well, I don't job or whatever, is, is to build any sort of, fun, kind of like, any sort of foundation where, um, I don't feel that way, and I guess maybe that's something what they're asking, but I don't, I don't know. But it seems like they want them to feel confident, they want her to feel confident so that she, so that the person can then date her. Yeah, Rather yeah. than they want her to feel confident so that she's confident and happy. Yeah, right? Which is not like an orientation that I feel that comfortable with. Yeah, 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 so that's, that's just sort of, Because yeah. you know, like maybe you boost her self-esteem a lot and she actually thinks, oh my god, I could date all these different people <laughs> that aren't you. And that's a good thing. By the way, like that's the good. That's a good outcome. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily that you're the you know the, the perfect man that will or I guess. Well, I mean, they no, said boyfriend, but I think they are non-binary. So yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Partner. Yes, sorry. yes um, that that will um, that will you know I guess completely. Yeah, you know, you, there are certain things about you that might also fuck up that person in their own ways as such and. I don't know, I don't know. So basically, again, the framing is... is, is but then to be fair, like, they do sound self... The person asking the question does sound self-aware. And they do sound like they are aware of falling into the saviour trap. And, like, I've been that person where I've absolutely thought this person was amazing and they needed help. And I've been like, I won't date you because you need help. And I'm going to help you grow as a person. And they dated someone else. And I was like, bitch. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, no, for sure. Like, I've also been in relationships <laughs> where, like, I, I kind of, I don't know, 
fix them and then they're way way more awesome to the next person then they tell me oh, i'm so sorry i was so shit for you but actually i'm so much better to my current partner now. i mean that is a good like that is definitely a good thing obviously that they're becoming better people and sure like it does take sure. a person who is bigger bigger yeah. than me and bigger than you yeah. to I'm not, be resentful, that, and not be resentful and not think that like i put this energy into great you fucking it, destroyed like, me yeah and, like now you're so much better that's the thing like i definitely am guilty of having like a savior narrative like i want to help people become great and also like if they fall in love with me along the way then no. but also like okay so but but i recognize that that's not a good thing no but okay so you think it's not a good thing but like what it does do you think you're, you're not doing it out of masochism necessarily it probably gives you a certain oh yeah it gives you, like, buzz. Gives you a book yeah boost definitely and, like a buzz and no, like it's not selfless you, yeah exactly like you're then a better person you're then like mm. a help you know like a, yeah yeah i guess the savior and the person that has like i don't know like changed someone's life and have made them a better person so basically it's again it's not a one-way street that's such. Thing. you're clearly getting satisfaction like, out of this would you feel sincerely good if you help this person this this girl like got, get confidence become independent become happy in herself and initiate someone else with her happiness and her independence or would you feel shortchanged because of that because i think the answer to that question points to the orientation you have towards this relationship and yeah. towards her mental well-being yeah i mean there, there hasn't been like that many indicators of like a true passion as such it's just someone that's no, like, like she's like, into me but they're yeah. also like nice and cute which is like fine I worry she will fall to me, fall for me as I try to support her. But because like she's nice and cute, where does it go? So like, do they want to even be with she's her? She's very nice and cute. If she was more independent, I would really like to date her. Well, she isn't. So I don't, I don't know. Like I don't think you should necessarily put up that wall or like that. I don't know how to say like. I just hate to use that word gamify again, but like basically get her to this next level. You know, so like level up, and then and and you know, then I'll then I'll have you, then I'll keep you. Yeah, it's true. I think yeah. the pressure is insane. Like, wow. It, what if I will like, fuck up? What if okay, I'll be awesome with you for like two years, and now I'm third year, I have a fucking nervous breakdown. The pressure is so intense. And the, and the emphasis is definitely on like she really likes me, but I would feel manipulative if I took advantage of her now. And not I want to be with her. I think she's fantastic, but she needs help. Again, you're like, answering your own questions. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you know that. You don't want to be a savior. If you genuinely want to help this girl develop her self-esteem and become independent, that's amazing, and you should do that as her friend. And also, okay, like I don't know, I hate to do. Oh, fuck it. Like I will go there because I also I think we 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 talked about this in previous videos. Um, I don't know the class of these people necessarily, but I will say the the the, the, the I was a very very well I still am, but like a, a, a bit less so a very insecure little girl as such until I found uh, so like a thing of my own right which is like i hate to use this like but like basically a professional thing like some sort of thing you know like a like a niche like, like an a creative output niche. creative output something that has nothing to do with the relationship where i was able to then grow and then then my self-esteem grew as such so i was i'm basically wondering if there's a way for you rather than like in a sort of romantic way try and boost this person's um confidence is there a way to create a foundation where um where they would feel more safe in terms of like i guess they're yeah i guess whether that's you know i guess i don't know well yeah like i guess a, a something for them that isn't relying on other people yeah resources where they can grow by themselves independently like i i don't know whether that is yeah helping out with their again like i class is basically a thing like i were i i dated you know kind of middle class people that thought that if only they make me feel secure in terms of their love as such that that would be enough but I always knew I'm the poorer one and like no matter how much they've done like I still needed for them to encourage me in terms of my own practice trying to establish myself like yeah someone's love like, is great but it's not what it's not what you are yeah like a lot of my insecurities as well came, and also they're very much reflected in the relationship the fact that I was just like anxious and poor and anxious about my mom and that like and, and also just yeah like and I thought they would realize that but they're like no you know like you don't want to put yourself out there like you don't want to put yourself on like social media or anything like that you know like I mean basically oh, hey. <laughs> fuck it no <laughs> No, but you, you are yeah, evidence more than anyone else I know that social media actually does help your career, like, does help it, your self-esteem. It built me and, and it not built myself. Yeah, yeah, and it built my self-esteem and like the sort of... I know this is super personal, but what I'm trying to say is that like... 
there are certain uh, yeah like to be like a, a, a to not have my own thing professionally at the time and trying to build that and then my partner though they loved me in other ways to be like really shitting on that yeah uh, but was, that's the thing that was, 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 was really because beautiful. they say they want her to find her independence right and like what does that mean do you mean independence do you just mean you don't want her chasing after guys you think are not good for her or do you mean independence in is the sense housing, of housing you know yeah in the sense of like finding something that she feels like whole doing by herself because yeah. those are two different things yeah is it, like, is it, yeah is, is it housing is it co- co- i know some yeah. sort of like uh profession but like if it's just you making value judgments about her relationship and then deeming her dependent because of that mm-hmm. you need to take a step back from the situation and wonder whether you are actually acting in her best interests i mean isn't there's, there's nothing wrong with worrying about a friend who is in like dodgy relationship situations that is a good thing but yeah i think the sort of relationship thing is kind of an only an added extra we felt these same things about friends as well right but with friends we actually tend to tell uh, them tell them but also like tend to help them practically more right whereas this 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 added thing is like i kind of could date her but me not or like if because she's into me i don't want to help her in a genuine sense because that might make her more into me yeah no like help this person i don't know like really have the confidence in me even i'm not completely fucking sure that they don't even have that but whatever it is their passion that would um allow them to not what you perceive to be manipulative relationships um uh, you know that i think that would be more helpful per se i don't know again yeah. I'm a, is this we don't usually do this we've done this more now lately well, in terms of like kind of really maybe maybe we are just kind of getting spoiled with questions but basically like kind of really ask asking why they're asking the questions a little yeah, bit but i think it's so. a good thing because you have to like with a written question you have to read between the lines a little bit and find no out no one's gonna ask us questions anymore. No, no yeah like we're not we're not shitting on you we're just like your motivation for asking a question particularly if it's about another person do matter in the way in which we respond to you so which are trying to tease out all the possible avenues through which you would arrive at asking us this question and like if if some of the things you said aren't true or don't relate to your situation then that's going to be legit but i think what you're trying to do here a little bit which is like is get us to tell you yes you shouldn't be doing this and yes absolutely like this is wrong and then you get the lies as oh like i heard it from an agonials actually like i'm like taking a step back because like that is only better for you you but know and it's only better for her as well like yeah you need to decide what your relationship and i mean in the loose sense with this girl is going to be is it going to be friends who support each other is it going to be she's someone i could have dated but i chose not to involve myself is she going to be be someone i'm working on to date like you have to decide your orientation towards this girl because yeah from your message it doesn't sound like you're like super into her in like a dating sense but more that you're concerned about her but the dating overtones is what we're reading through the question so it's yeah yeah and that's why i'm sort of because i know it's not in that but that's why i'm bringing up like the kind of i guess class and dependency angle to this just because like dependency uh and or a need for confidence and and some sort of care is not you know it it's not it's not a question where financial security doesn't come into play like i think it really does um but also i'm not one of those people that like for example toes the line of you have to have your shit sorted before you date and you shouldn't rely on a partner to bring you happiness i actually think it's okay sometimes to rely on a like relationship or another person to boost you to the to the stage in which you are then feel confident to pursue your goals absolutely like, they're willing to do sometimes that sometimes people are like oh but y- you shouldn't date until you sort yourself out i don't necessarily agree oh, yeah, no, if i had never dated before shows. i sorted myself out i would never have dated like yeah no and so yeah i mean i i, I guess i just kind of wish we were talking to her as well or <laughs> instead of you because yeah. it just feels very weird that we're analyzing someone else's situation with you and speaking for herself yeah. yeah 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 that's the kind of the odd part so i'm sorry if this is also a very unsatisfactory question but like so i answer but um one of the question is well, well, maybe talk to her about what she wants and don't read into it your analysis of her previous relationships because nothing is going to make someone defensive and less likely to open up to you and less likely to want to engage with you about the stuff if they feel judged by their previous decisions and again well. there are creative ways of addressing this so you can actually like uh, give a fight to this there's something so that's something that i've been going through a bit lately in terms of like uh and then so um someone I'm with we basically came to a decision where we do have to like uh have we have kind of almost have like an excel sheets and like we kind of check in on each other in like 
points-based system about certain questions, and it kind of. And but the thing is that it sounds sad because like we're having to do that because for everyone else, like the relationships are effortless. Oh, they? Just, like, they never talk, or when they talk, it's just like chill. Whereas we're having to really bureaucratize always that relationship and like. The, the stigma that, or no, it's a stigma, but like the sort of the insecurity that it's just like, yeah, that's really, that's really sad. Like that you're having to work through things, especially in this like some weirdly numerical order. Like, are you literally you're bringing capitalism and like to your relationship or what? I mean, like, I love spreadsheets, so I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you are diseased by capitalism because you love spreadsheets. I just love you know? order. <laughs> I love filing. Yeah, I love lists. So sure, like I mean. But again, in the sort of even in the milieu that we're in, like that would be a bit frowned upon, like the fact that I don't know that you're. Oh, well, absolutely, not. yeah. Anarchy is chaos. No. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so we have we I don't know yeah we're having to go through that. I I celebrate that. I want to be with this person. I'll do whatever. And also, I don't think that's that much effort. But I'm wondering if there's a way, you know, for you to also establish those certain. Basically, like I don't know. No, I'm just saying, like basically, be like, okay, so these are my questions. What are your answers to them? Maybe on a scale from like zero to five. I don't know. This like, is what I was about to say. Because so the difference is with you and your partner, you both consented to this process. I feel like if she they just needs to be up, involved in this whole process. I, like we sh- and you shouldn't be having this conversation without her knowing what's being talked about and knowing what you think. And I feel like the first step is probably just fucking talk to her. Like, well, they probably have though. I yeah, think. I don't know, but I just, I just yeah, like I feel weird giving you advice and not. With uh, certain signifiers of judgment there as well, you know? Yeah. Like, so that's why it's a bit... Mm. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know anything about this girl. Like, I'm not going to say whether her decisions are good or bad. Like... Yeah. And... Yeah, I mean, again, well done. The best. I mean, but then again, okay, so the fact that they've even wrote in for us, again, I'm going meta here, it does mean that they do want to be of, of you. Yeah, they're self-reflective, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Like, they do want to, I guess, create... But then, I don't know, like, what, 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 what are we meant to say? Yeah, you're being somehow, like, taking advantage here and, like, you shouldn't? Like, no, you probably get off of it in your own certain ways And as also, well. like, it can't, like, although, like, the, the saviour is, like, a critique term, like, sometimes people need someone to save them. Like, I've had times in my life where I'm like, cry for help, cry for help, can you the cry for help? And no one's helping. And I'm like, if someone had just been like, Rowan, I'm here to save you, I'd love that. I loved it. Instead of keep like moving countries, which is <laughs> more expensive and involves much more like Duolingo. So, you know, like as much as like the savior is like a maybe problematic category, wanting to help someone and maybe taking an initiative and in that is not always bad as long as you reflect on why you're doing it. Yeah, but we've both done that. And yeah, we have. Well, okay, so I think the two times that we I can think of examples where we have both done that, we've been crazy about that person, like crazy. Like, I, I know I have, I yeah. think some of you have been. So, like, there was not even a question. Like, I mean, we're like, yes, oh my God, I'll do anything you fucking want. Like, I'll, I'll be your, like, you know, I'll be your servant. I'll, be, I'll do everything. I just, like, I just want you to... to to be with me. I just want you to be with me. But then we're different to, to this person in the sense of it, that they precisely. are not doing they were that. Kind of like, like they're better than see. us, really, kind of a bit. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I don't. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's just like it's a bit of a difference where, like, I mean, we're kind of say we're telling the sign as like, yeah, be a savior, don't be a savior, or whatnot. Mm. But like, um, we have been those people because we were crazy about them. You not being crazy about them will probably show show to them. And it only may further increase their own insecurities. But it also might give you more perspective about your role in this than like, I was like, I'm not a savior. I just think I'm the only person that could possibly save her. Like, <laughs> but, but that's sometimes, <laughs> and so like, maybe they feeling, are. Maybe they are, but maybe they're not. But I feel like not being crazy about her could mean that they could detach themselves enough to want to act in a better interest in a way that I think I did, but I possibly didn't. That's what I mean. Like they've got less emotions clouding their judgment. Yeah. Um, we so in terms of like, I just finally just kind of want to see. I don't want to get close and break her heart, nor do I want to be savior boyfriend. You just answered it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to get close and break her heart. Like if you think you're gonna break her heart, then don't do it. Or like, yeah, get close that. with her, become her friend, but establish very early on that it will not become a relationship or anytime soon and that you really genuinely want to help her as a friend like as a friend though that's yeah. the thing like you don't want to be like a codependent like, no yeah. like depending on our friends is a fucking necessary part of survival and like we shouldn't underestimate the importance of that relationship in all this sex and relationship talk but yeah they are to be fair they are like they go like uh there is a power dynamic there that i don't like 
if she's into me and if she's into me and relationship dependent entering into a relationship with her inherently plays on her dependency I feel like yeah yeah you kind of got it yeah we just talked for like 20 minutes for no reason yeah but also like it's because we're also like aware that we've been on both sides of it <laughs> yeah I think I felt it too out. much like. yeah <laughs> yeah alright so there we go okay shall we next yeah thank you <laughs>